Welcome to my world. It is food pantry day. I'm going to show you everything on my table as well as the chairs. It is full. This is my food pantry haul for June. I only get one a month. We're going to start over on the left chair here. A big bag of oatmeal, angel hair pasta, three packages of ramens, ziti, Two cans of cream of chicken soup. Stuffing. Chocolate chip muffins. Three packs of microwave popcorn. Jet puff marshmallows, the minis. Hatfields, a pork loin, a huge brick of beef. Ground turkey. Package of chili. All beef hot dogs. These are awesome. My husband's really excited for these 100% all natural Tyson chicken patties. Brick of cheddar cheese, unsalted butter, chocolate chewy granola bars, shortbread dipped chocolate cookies, a dozen eggs, mayonnaise, mustard, half a gallon of milk, a dressing. We got some tomatoes. These are fruit snacks and they're cranberries. Celery sticks, green beans. Now for the canned goods in the back. Hunts. Diced tomatoes, black beans, cream soup, two of them, refried beans, mixed vegetables. Then we got peas, diced pears, can of chicken, two cans of tuna, applesauce, pineapple in its own juice, peaches, Grape jelly. Mini yellow potatoes. These are great to roast in the air fryer. Bananas. Spinach, which I love spinach. Three clementines. My kid will be very happy. I won't pay five, six dollars a bag for them. Another can here. Tomato sauce. Big huge jug of apple juice. Four pack of TP. Got some Silkians Creamy Body Wash Pro V. Silkians, new brand, huge two in one. Ajax, dish soap, and a bar soap. This is what it looks like. Get everything put away. I'm going to show you two things in the freezer that we got that had to get put away right away. And I got to make room for the new meat. I got a box of Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches by the Sunday shop. Oh, my kids are going to be so excited when they get home. In this freezer, up in the corner here, got some butter pecan, Briar's ice cream, my favorite. No, I'm really not supposed to have ice cream, but I do have it occasionally. So don't tell anybody. I just put away, now we're going to meal plan. Today is June 11th, so I'm going to write that down on my paper here. And then when we're done writing ideas down, I'll show you the list. June 11th, I always keep a calendar when I meal plan because we have Father's Day and things coming up. I had budgeted for steaks that were on sale, BOGO, and really good prices and got them for half price. So we're going to be having a steak either air fryer or grill on Father's Day. So June 11th, dinner is pork chops tonight, so I don't have to worry about that. We got spaghetti sauce for the 12th. I'm going to write down spaghetti. Got some great pasta choices. We got ZD as well as angel hair. Thursdays are heat and eat night. And that's the 13th. And I can just throw that pork loin in the crock pot 
and shred it up for sandwiches or pork tacos. So, crock pot, pork loin. There's going to be massive leftovers that you can freeze and make it into another meal for another time. Friday the 14th. Not everybody's going to be home, so I'm just going to put down tuna sandwiches. The 15th. I have that huge brick of beef. I'm thawing it. I'm going to thaw it part way. Split it up into individual meals, and I'll do a separate video on that to show you how I utilize it. I'm not sure what type of beef it is. I've never gotten anything like that before in my life. If you know what it is, it was a big round thing. I think it may be ground beef. Please comment and let me know below. Please be kind. So the ground beef, we can make a poor man's stew. It's going to be raining Saturday. When I meal plan, I also keep an eye on the weather so I know if it's going to be too hot for an oven that particular day, then I'll use my crock pot and air fryer or grill if needed. Or if it's going to be too rainy, and then I'm going to be using my crock pot or even air fryer. And if it's cool enough, I'll put the oven on. And now for the 16th, I'm going to make turkey chili. I have that big package of ground turkey which I'm going to split up into two individual meals. Turkey meatloaf. On the 17th. Now the turkey meatloaf, you can use the stuffing for the breadcrumbs and make a delicious turkey meatloaf with those free range eggs and put them in there. Most everybody already has ketchup, black pepper and garlic on it, salt on hand and you're good to go. Now for the 18th of June. We got those chicken patties. We can do chicken patty sandwiches. Make clubs. That would be awesome. We got a lot of fresh produce we can add for sides. I never planned for sides. I do know one of the nights, maybe when we do the pork loin or one of the beef nights from the poor man's stew, because that's a huge brick of beef. The way I'm splitting it up, it's going to make four to five meals. I can do air fryer roasted potatoes with those little yellow potatoes. We can do the green beans with the pork loin that night. The bell peppers can go right into the spaghetti sauce make a really fresh crock pot spaghetti sauce. I use a can of diced, a can of sauce, two cans of puree, two cans of paste, three teaspoons of garlic salt, three teaspoons of black pepper. Then I throw in either frozen or fresh onion and bell pepper into the sauce with homemade meatballs. It comes out really well every time. My grandmother taught me how to make my sauce. Now that is all the meats that we got, and I got canned chicken. And I recently did a video on amazing things you can do with canned chicken. And you can check it out in my Cook With Me players list. The 19th. You can make chicken tacos with it. You can make chicken salads. You can make chicken enchiladas, chicken burritos, chicken spaghetti, chicken and stuffing. Endless possibilities. You could do a seven can chicken taco soup. Maybe that'll be a night when my husband goes to play guitar. I can make myself a big pot of chicken and taco soup, and I know my kids will eat it too. These are some meal ideas, so let me show you. Here's the list. Now I am planned through the 23rd already, so I can always fix these dates to go 23rd and beyond into July. And some of these things were going on vacation the week of the 11th. I can bring some of them with me on vacation to save money. We have a kitchen in our suite. it will give you a full tour of our vacation suite and grounds. And we always visit Mount Greylock, the summit, and try to take on a waterfall. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching me and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed my food pantry haul for the month of June 2022. I only get one a month, 
possibly meal planned with the food items that I got and you get an idea of how I use them with my existing foods. I do have a players list for meal planning and as I said we're meal planned to the 23rd of this month. I'll push the dates up and some of those meals that we just planned together will go into the month of July. So I'm now meal planned to the 7th of July because I use a rotation system. But there's a meal planning players list for you to check out to teach you how I meal plan with theme nights and a rotation system. It is very handy, especially when you have the faintest idea. And if you have a lot of repeats because your husband likes meat and potatoes, it is awesome and a great way to go. When we get to 1,400, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. And we're looking for three more people to give out one five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. And I just filled an entire new bin of prizes from stuff that I found that were never used or never opened. They're brand new. There'll be a new video titled Prize Vault for you to enjoy to see what I found that you could win. The rules are you have to be subscribed to U.S. residents. If you're new, you must comment. Become a part of the growing community. I'm very friendly. I'm a cat chatty Kathy and love to talk. If you've been around for a while, you know all this. But if you've won in the past 60 days, you're not qualified. You have to wait out the time period to give other people a chance. If you've won and you don't answer in two days, you will be disqualified. Always check your notifications for me, please. Very important. If something happened on why you couldn't contact me, give me an email, countryboots1268 at yahoo.com, and we'll talk. Thank you for watching.